because it's time for Homeless. An interactive short story. Just a jump to the left and a roll to the right. Well, you are you are a homeless person in search of a better life, but horrible well, I mean, things. This keep, is AJ, so I mean, your horrible things keep happening to you, and you just can't seem to work out why. You know, I think this needs an appropriate soundtrack. Is this a DH Pierce the game? Sun times can be hard. But you need to promise me that you will always try your hardest, no matter what situation you're in. You will do the impossible, see the invisible, and you will pierce the heavens. Shut that fucking cat up! <laughs> you wake up from a night with no sleep. The sun is high in the sky. Looking around, you think it would be best to get up, but you don't know what to do. It is a very windy day, and you feel hungry, but you are also very tired. What do you want to do? Oh, guys, it's a text adventure. Hello? Do you want to get up and have something to eat? Or keep sleeping and Let's eat later? Let's listen to what the chat has to say. What do you think we should do, chat? Well, I mean, Matt is playing this, so of course he's going to get up and eat. But... Hey! Yeah. Okay, Sam. Want, okay, two hey, people want to eat. Sam, stop spamming. Okay, everyone wants to eat, so let's eat. Let's eat. You get out of your ragged bed and start scavenging around for food. All of a sudden, the wind picks up and your shelter falls down. You shiver as you get the feeling that you could have died if you didn't get up. While you are looking around, you see an old lady drop her purse. You think about taking it for good, but have second thoughts about it. What do you want to do? Take her purse and keep it. Or give her purse back, as she is an old lady. It's a trick. He's a karate master. <laughs> oh man, we are 50-50. Uh, I defer to you guys here watching, you know, uh, commentating with me. Do we take the purse or do we give it back? Sure, why not? What's that? We're going the renegade Oh, we're, so that's three votes for taking the purse? Okay. We're taking the purse. Yes, it's Young's purse. <laughs> you take the purse and run, but somebody starts chasing you. Wait, no, no, oh, wrong, shit. wrong voice. <laughs> you try and hide in a dirty alleyway, but the man corners you. There are two items in the alleyway. A sharp metal pole and some old stockings. What do you want to do? Attempt to attack the man with the metal pole? Or use the stockings to escape through a broken window? Or do you just want to give him the purse? I mean, it won't do any harm. <laughs> Russo says take the fall. <laughs> <laughs> Russo! Are we going with the Vince Russo option? With the pole? This is that point in the book that you would like flip to the option and be able to read the last line and be like, eh, no. And then flip it back and then find the one that doesn't kill you immediately. Okay. Okay. On a pole. On a pole? On a pole. Yeah, okay. let's go for a pole. Let's go for the pole? Okay. Let's pole. I believe in the FUCK! <laughs> you pick up the metal pole and prepare to swing him at him. He pulls out a gun and laughs at your pathetic choice of action while aiming at your chest. You hear some gunshots and feel a horrible pain in your chest. Your vision glows blurry. And everything ends. Congratulations, Three. everyone. We've died within two choices. <laughs> Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Oh god. We need appropriate music right here. Should we have a eulogy for us? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we killed Officer Bob and we killed ourselves. Oh my god. Play a, play a Nirvana song. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Francis! Okay, okay, we're doing. Okay, we have to do this again. Okay, back to playing the song, of course.
of course. You are a homeless person in search of a better life. You wake up from a night with no sleep. We get up and have something to eat again. Okay. What do we want to do? Take her purse and keep it? Or give her purse back? Hmm. <laughs> Take it again! <laughs> <laughs> sure. Let's... let's, let's... <laughs> We're I taking wonder... it and using the stockings. <laughs> okay, okay, we're taking it and using the stockings? Okay. Yeah, taking it and using the stockings. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try this one more time. Okay. We are taking the purse. All of a sudden the stockings <laughs> turn into stones. <laughs> <laughs> you have to Alright, let's try using the stockings. Okay. Let's use these stockings. Let's see what's behind, let's see what's behind <laughs> choice number two. You pick up the old stockings and throw one end up. It hooks onto the windowsill. You climb up quickly, just escaping the man. He pulls out a gun and starts shooting you, but you escape his shots. You study the room and work out that you have two options. Hide until he leaves. Or explore the building. Explore! <laughs> if you explore the building, you will find out the secret truth. <laughs> You'll find out that Nicolas Cage is a really shitty actor. <laughs> okay. My god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go exploring, everyone. <laughs> you explore further into the building. You look back and see a grenade fly through the window. You run out of the room, just surviving the explosion. After exploring for a bit, you find a steel safe, which looks like it could be filled with valuables. You break it open using a crowbar and find lots of money. You jump with joy, because you now have thousands of dollars, and you live happily ever after. Thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. Not the good ending! Wait, wait, this, this... Okay, we, we have graduated from Virgil, and we have become... Ted DiBiase. Nope, the, the primetime players. <laughs> the primetime players. Making move, making move, making thousand dollar move. Making move, making move, making thousand dollar move. <laughs> <laughs> at us with a gun and a grenade. Just because he was pissed <laughs> off. Okay. I think, he, I, think, I think he's somebody from Grand Theft Auto Online and we're an NPC. <laughs> okay. No, I think, that's the I think that's the story. We're one of the random events from Grand Theft Auto 5 and then the person is one of the protagonists. Okay. We have a gun and grenades. Let's play it one more time. Are we going to take her purse and keep it or give her purse back? No, you know we should stay. We should stay in bed. Hmm? We, we, should, we should stay in bed and see where that passes. Oh, oh, bad. I, I already got past that. Uh, <laughs> okay, she, let's let's give her purse back. She is an old lady. <laughs> yeah. You give the purse back to the old lady, and she thanks you kindly. She gives you a hundred dollars for returning it, and you jump with joy. All of a sudden, you hear gunshots, and you see the old lady fall to the ground. People start looking around, confused we as to why she was shot. By stealing her purse. Yep. Way to go, everyone. You guys just all killed an old lady. I hope you're happy. Okay, so do we try and pursue the murderer, or stay and help the old mu the old lady? No, let the murderer go, because you'll become Spider-Man. Okay, are we going to stay and help the old lady, or pursue the murderer? Pursue. Avenge her death! <laughs> Avenge her death, huh? God damn! <laughs> Avenge her death! <laughs> okay, we're going to avenge her death. Let's do this. We're going to avenge her death by becoming a superhero. Okay, so pursue... Pers Pursue the old lady, then? We are in agreement. Let's do this. Okay, motherfucker, we're coming for you. Stand back! 
There's a hurricane coming through. Oh. You start running after the murderer in the hope that you can stop him. Once you corner him in an alleyway, he pulls out a gun and shoots you without hesitation. You are dead. <laughs> we tried. Yeah, okay. Hurricane. Yeah. Okay. Homeless Helms has again. <laughs> Homeless Helms. Stand back, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you wake up from a okay, night. There's a hurricane coming. Let's just be lazy today. Okay, let's, let's just decide to eat later. Okay. Chances are we'll probably die, but eh. No, the thing is, the <laughs> two choices. Our first two choices are either B, Matt, or B, Beardy. <laughs> you decide to stay in bed. Moments later, the wind picks up and your shelter falls on you. While struggling around in the rubble, you start <laughs> to choke and die. I will give I will give the maker of this game credit. They do have great continuity. <laughs> okay. The timeline of events still happens regardless of what you pick. Okay. Let's get up and let's have something to eat. Okay. Are we going to take her purse again, or give her purse back again? She's an old lady. Give, give her back. purse back, I'd say. We need to help her. Okay, let's give her purse back. We are the hurricane still. So then this time we'll stay and help the old lady. Okay. We're Marty Jannetty, faggot. Did you say we're, we're, we're Marty Jannetty? Yeah, we're Marty Jannetty. We are Marty Jannetty. A company to the hospital by the hurricane. <laughs> she can adopt you. I'd say accompany her to the hospital. <laughs> Still the strap. Okay. Okay. You stay in. You stay. This is Marty Janetti's theme. What the hell am I listening to? Oh, it's pour some sugar on me. I just looked up Marty Janetti's theme. Okay. You stay with the old lady to help her. You hear sirens. What's that? You hear sirens. They're calling you into the oceans. Accompany her to the hospital. Let's see if we can get the route. Okay, let's accompany her to the hospital. <laughs> yes, let's, let's see if we can get the H theme. <laughs> It's coming up, I'm telling you. <laughs> you go with the old lady whose name you find out is Helen. When you're in the hospital, you trip over a cord and fall against her life support system. Her heart get rate gets really fast and then just stops. A nurse in the room comes over and says that Helen is dead. You go home and kill yourself because you cannot handle the pain! What a real good <laughs> ending. We got a good ending! <laughs> oh my god. Well, we died, so let's play the sound. You should play like the song. You should play the sound where it's like bum 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 bum. No, actually, it's the Mario Death song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think next stream we're gonna have in mem in memory of us. Fuck Officer Bob. Okay, we're gonna get up and have something to eat. We're gonna give her purse back. We're gonna stay and help the old lady. And now we're not gonna accompany to the hospital. Sean, why? <laughs> you oh, you decide to leave the old lady to live her own life and go back to living as a homeless person with not much food. Your life is pretty plain, but you will always be happy because the old lady lived on to tell stories about the wonderful man who helped her get through hard times. Aww. Aww. Fucking homeless and alone. Yeah. Okay. At least you got one hundred dollars, huh? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Hundreds of dollars. Hundreds okay, of dollars. we're gonna do the one one more thing. Okay, we're gonna give him the purse. No, we gotta give him the purse. We've never given him the purse yet. Okay. We're, let's do this. Let's let's give her the purse, because we are in America. It won't do any harm. Okay. 
Okay. You hand him the purse. He lets out a sigh. He pulls a gun up to your face and tells you how stupid you are for stealing the purse. He starts to run away with the purse. When he is gone, you laugh because he took the wrong purse. And you have the real one. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck did he get another purse? <laughs> okay, so do we want to go buy some food or buy an apartment with the money that we stole from the old lady? <laughs> How much money did she have? For some peace, for some rules, it's happening. <laughs> Okay, food or apartment? Food or apartment? Oh, everyone's saying apartment. Oh, wait, we're hungry. Food? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll defer to you guys. Food or apartment? Apartment. Yay, I'll go with food. Pippi? You're the tiebreaker. Uh, oh, no pressure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Eat the apartment. Okay. <laughs> let's buy let's buy an apartment. Because you know you know what buying an apartment is. Buying an apartment. Is what if you a... buy that one guy's house that tried killing you? <laughs> <laughs> Get ruse. You go around the city looking for a motel to stay in. You find two that would suit you best. One looks more expensive, but it looks dodgy. The other one looks cheap, but less dodgy. You know what? I'm not going to go to the Sweet Dreams Hotel. I'm going to go to the American Bath and Breakfast, because it's American! Hopefully we can get some red, white, and blue waffles. You go to the American Bath and Breakfast and put the purse on the desk. When you're looking for money in the purse, the person behind the counter accuses you of stealing the purse because they know someone who had that purse and lost it. You start to blush. They tie you down to a chair and demand answers. You don't respond, so he starts to torture you with a knife. You keep resisting, so he kills you! Okay. Man, fuck America! I really, no, I really Grand Theft Auto NPC. <laughs> and uh, is a character in the online mode. <laughs> okay. Let's get up and have something to eat. Oh, wait, shit. Whoops. Son, it can be hard times. Okay. No Son. shit, everyone's trying to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go to, uh... Let's go to Sweet Dreams. You forgot the path, didn't you, Matt? No, I just I clicked the wrong thing. God damn it. Ooh. The pressure's getting too. Yeah. You're not, you can't perform as a homeless man. <laughs> I suck at being homeless. <laughs> that reminds me to make a Yes Cops on WWE 14. Yeah, please do. Damn. Okay, we need a new house. Let's go to Sweet Dreams. You go to Sweet Dreams Motel and pay for a room. While you are out exploring your new room, you hear a fight going on outside. You find a gun in a cupboard and have the option to shoot either the snitchy looking person or the businessman. <laughs> you... <laughs> Clearly, this is our only two options to shoot one person or the other. <laughs> Shoot the snitchy person. You'll get money from the businessman. Trust me. Okay. Okay. Should we shoot the snitchy? Pull out a fucking chainsaw and impale us. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> shoot the old lady. <laughs> okay. It's like it's like an or it's like it's it's like an or us. We just go around and we shoot the old lady instead, and it turns out we. Like okay. That. Let's let who? Okay. Who are we shooting? Snitchy or business? Sierra Hotel. India. Echo. Uh, 
I also like how the first person, like the option of this person is just to kill somebody for no reason. Okay, <laughs> if you don't choose, shoot the snitch, he'll report you. That's an amazing point brought by Sean. Let's shoot the snitchy person. <laughs> you shoot the snitchy person, which alarms the businessman. You go down to say that it was you who helped him, but he looks at you like he hates you. You ask him what's wrong, and he yells at you for killing the person he wanted to kill. He pulls out a gun and shoots you. I was sort of right. <laughs> <laughs> there was no chainsaw involved and no impalement involved, but death still happened. Well. Bullshit. Well. <laughs> Well, shit. We died. Rip us. Rip us. Rip us. Rip America. Ugh. Okay, let's shoot the businessman next time. <laughs> we, we need safe states for this. Yeah, seriously. Hard. This is difficult, man. Okay. Shooting the businessman. Hmm. Let's do yeah, it. Businessman. You kill the businessman with your gun and walk down to the snitchy person. He says thanks and offers you a better home to live in. You accept. He asks you if you want to join the mafia, but you decline. You say that is for another story and you both have a laugh, mate. You enjoy your new life in a massive house without the worry of ever running out of money again and a great new friend who works in the Mafia. <laughs> Man, I love it when that happens! <laughs> Man, I've got this really mafia. awesome friend that works in the Mafia. Yeah, this is great. Okay, we have one more ending left. We have one... Okay, the ending has to be spending the money on food. Okay. No, he... Comes in and, if uh, if we're spending the money on food, there is only one person who we can who we can play right now. He uh, comes in and sees his friend and all his uh, and all his other mafia friends, and he looks at the camera and says, "Looks like this is mafia country." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some Magnus joke. I did it. <laughs> Let's buy some food. Yep, we got the final ending. You decide to go to the shops to buy some food. When you finish choosing what you want to buy, you walk up to the counter. Music starts playing unexpectedly as the man behind the counter says that you're his millionth customer. He hands you a check worth a thousand dollars and gives you a free bag of Skittles. People in the shop start congratulating you, but you don't know what happened next. Wait. Did like you say that? Did else. you say that people? <laughs> did you say? Congratulations. Did you say that people start congratulating you? Congratulations! We just platinum this fucking game. Congratulations! Congratulations! One hundred percent. Clean run. Congratulations! Congratulations! Probably a speed run record. Congratulations, <laughs> That was the best. That was the best. It was beautiful. I laughed. I cried. I spilled juice on my good